uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans. If you are, things, if you are, where, if you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel on Bushkin. Today, we are really going to go deep on bullet speed. This is some important stuff, uh, and this is stuff that no one else has talked to you about. I promise you, I promise you, this is nuts. I don't know if I can call these facts. I just don't know if we're able to record things correctly, but we're going to find out. Now, I wanted to do a video about bullet speed versus damage drop off uh, versus bullet drop, all that kind of stuff. And to do that, I jumped in a room with the patrons, well, multiple rooms because we had to get all the numbers. So thanks, guys. As usual, the patrons did all the stuff. And then I went to the range and I did lots of boom, boom, booms. And I wrote it all down on a pad and I was like, oh, I've got these numbers. Look at these numbers. And I had to do it again because the numbers weren't right. And then I mathed the hell out of it. And like Matt Damon in The Martian, I got back to Earth safe and sound. And if you don't get that pop culture reference, that's cool. We don't have to watch the same movies to be friends. Anyway, the thing that got me really interested in this was that in PC, for instance, the meta is very different because if you fire the M416, the initial muzzle velocity is 880 meters a second. You don't get a lot of sprays in PC like we do in mobile. And at 250 meters away in PC, the weapon is going... 650 meters a second. Now that's a massive, massive difference to mobile where it starts at nearly a thousand meters a second and drops all the way down to 892 meters a second at 250 meters. But the crazy thing is at 300 meters, it does 909 meters a second. So yeah, it gets faster between 250 and 300. I don't know either and I don't know why, but I know that I've tested it and I've tested it a lot and I keep getting the same numbers <laughs> and I don't know what to do with this. Let me put them on the screen for you now. Now, I just want to reiterate, I tested these an awful lot. I, I did a bunch of them and I got just these same weird numbers constantly that at 1,000 meters a second or just outside 1,000 meters a second and then all the way down to 909. And I tested it then the M762 because I thought it can't be as wonky but it was every bit as wonky that there was some weird stuff going on on both sides now I understand that these numbers could be skewed and I understand how they could be skewed because this is at 90 frames a second but it's quite possible that the graphical uh, the graphical effect for when it strikes a target uh, is screwing with the actual time it takes to hit that target and that we don't get to see that from the player side it's all server side but i'm pretty certain that regardless the drop off between the two is almost non-existent the startup speed and the speed at 300 is like very very small in terms of differences now the damage is a different kettle of the fish. The damage definitely is very linear the way it drops. I've got a graph here from Steve-O, from Sog Steve, from the patron clan, patron community. Uh, I don't run any patron clans. I don't want all that heartache. <laughs> I don't want to be dealing with the humans. 40.9 uh, damage at 10 meters. And then it drops off somewhere between 10 and 20 is a drop off point where it starts to lose damage at distance all the way down to 40.2 at 60 meters. And then onwards and onwards it just keeps dropping damage and that's fair enough there should be a damage drop off but it seems very plastic it's not real it's not it's a manufactured damage drop off um it doesn't line up with shell ballistics because the shell ballistics just don't drop they really don't the the bullet drop is so minimal and this has meant that there's a lot of changes to the way pubg mobile is played versus pubg pc the bullet drop is significant for this because you can take a gun like the UMP in mobile and that's at over 100 meters. And as long as they're not making huge traverses, you don't really have to do anything but sit the reticle on top of them because the bullet drop is so insignificant. Even though the UMP's initial bullet speed is only about 360 meters a second, its bullet speed at 300 meters is 340 meters a second so the bullet drop isn't there even though it's a slow firing gun the shell velocity doesn't fall off at 300 and that's the key it's not that the shell velocity is slow at the start 
and then equally slow at the finish, it's that there's not a big difference between the start and the finish. And that means that in PC, where you'd have to aim two whole body lengths above the target at 300 meters with a UMP just to have a chance, on mobile, all you gotta do is point at the target and press the button. And that is why not enough people are using other weapons apart from the M416 and the 7.62 ARs. Stop and think about this. You can use the M416 because it's excellent on traversing targets, but a lot of people don't use bolt actions. When all I'm doing, even at range there, is pointing exactly where I want it to hit. Chest head, chest head, chest head. Let's watch that one more time. The round is gonna go nearly exactly where I aim. And this is because bullet drop doesn't really exist. What exists in PUBG Mobile is, is lead time. Like if a target's flying along at 70 kilometers an hour in a buggy, you've still gotta lead it. But you don't have to lead it a whole lot further at 50 meters than you do at 150 meters because the shell velocity doesn't drop in the same fashion that damage drops. So that's why we end up with guns like the M416, but what we don't end up with is a lot of people using UMPs and such when they should. I have had to test the UMP because it's new and they've changed the damage on it. And even though a gun like this with the M416 is just like crazy effective, both in the tight and in the long range, you are really sleeping on a lot of the SMGs and the like because the general consensus is they're not as good as the M416 at 200 meters. And they're not. But they're only not as good as the M416 at 200 meters when the target is traversing very, very quickly across the screen. Anytime the target is coming into you or the target is um, driving towards you or driving away or stationary, Guns like the UMP are freaking laser beams because they have next to no vertical recoil. And the same can be said for people that don't use bolt action sniper rifles very often. It is a lot easier to snipe in PUBG Mobile. I know this sounds nutty. It is a lot easier to snipe in PUBG Mobile because bullet speed is a constant. It is not something that is dropping. And this is the real key to it. Think about that. If you have a drop of 25 meters per second over 300 meters, that's nothing to account for. PC is accounting for 25, 30% drops in bullet speed over the same distance, more sometimes depending on the different characteristics. It's a far more realistic ballistic representation. Long story short, look at your loadouts, adjust them and start using something else. <laughs> Because you might be missing out on some really good opportunities that otherwise you wouldn't realize were there. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the continued support of the channel. Uh, if you would do me a massive favor and share the videos and like them. I know this one hasn't been exactly groundbreaking, but it does illustrate a lot of points that I think people miss. Uh, and because of that, I... I like doing this kind of content. I like doing content that actually is switched on and gives you an insight into the way the game works and possibly how you can take advantage of that. And I, I really love that. Like, look at this. That guy's a long way away. We're just going to drop one right in his head because we've seen he's got a level two helmet and he's going to be an insta kill. You don't really... There is no drop there. Like, it's so small. Yeah. Like the videos. Subscribe. Click on a playlist. Why don't you? And until next time, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.